Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can select any formula cell or any cell referenced by a formula cell and then trace arrows that point to either its precedent or dependent cells. When you do this, Excel draws blue arrows either from the selected cell to its dependent cells or from the selected cell back to its precedent cells, depending on which button you choose from the buttons in the Formula Auditing button group on the Formulas tab of the ribbon. If the precedent or dependent cells are on another worksheet, then a black arrow that points to a worksheet icon appears instead of a blue arrow. You can double-click the black arrow to open the Go To dialog box, which shows the worksheet cell reference. You can then click the worksheet cell reference and then click the OK button in this dialog box to go to the referenced cell in the other worksheet. To view the precedent cells from a selected formula cell, first select a formula cell. Then click the Trace Precedents button in the Formula Auditing button group on the Formulas tab of the ribbon. This makes Excel trace arrows back to the precedent cells referenced by the formula in the selected cell. In some cases, these cells may also be formulas. In that case, you can then continue to click the Trace Precedents button to view multiple levels of precedent cells. Doing this lets you work backwards to discover which cells are referenced by the formula to perform its calculations. This helps you figure out which cells may be causing errors or inaccuracies in a worksheet formula. Tracing dependent cells is the same procedure in reverse. You simply click a cell from which to trace dependent cells. Then click the Trace Dependents button in the Formula Auditing button group on the Formulas tab of the ribbon. Excel then draws arrows to any cells that need the value of the selected cell to function. You can continue to click the Trace Dependents button as many times as you need to trace multiple levels of dependency from the selected cell if necessary. To remove all of the formula auditing arrows that Excel draws in a worksheet, first select the worksheet from which to remove the formula auditing arrows. Then click the Remove Arrows button in the Formula Auditing button group on the Formulas tab of the ribbon. Doing this removes all the formula auditing arrows from the selected worksheet. It is important to note that you must clear the formula auditing arrows separately in each individual worksheet. Alternatively, to only remove the last level of precedent or dependent formula auditing arrows drawn in a worksheet, click the drop down button to the right of the remove arrows button instead, and then select either the remove precedent arrows or remove dependent arrows commands from the button's drop down menu to remove the last level of precedent or dependent arrows that were traced. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.